Hi right, friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back in the Derail Valley where I'm trundling my way along towards the steel mill with a collection of bits of rubbish. Ah, great. Uh, I've, I've plotted out where I'm going next and all being well, we should arrive today, but... <laughs> uh, anyway, today's question, because we're in Get Back to Work. No, oh, which is a series where I get back to work on a work simulator that I have perhaps neglected. Although these days it seems like I'm not allowed to neglect any work simulator anymore. You keep making me play them. I'm okay with this. Um, today's question comes from Magilly, and it is the survival topic. Ooh. Alright, I've got a junction coming up. I've got to go right, right here. Uh, in fact, I've got to go right, right, right. I should be okay for this one, probably, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled anyway. Um, I'll get to the question momentarily because McGilly's written a flipping essay. Uh, and, I mean, that it somewhat misses the, the joy of this, which is just to ask the starting question and then I'll spin off in multiple directions. Uh, but it's okay. There are many. Thank you, Wallet. Yep, that's good. No, oh, that's still there. All right, good. Right, where are we? We're here. Okay, we're going there. Right. Yeah. So you've got no choice but to stay right at the next one, and then you do have a choice, and you need to stay right. And I think we might have to back up to get into the steel mill, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Um, all right, let's start reading. Colonel, ah, I'm hoping you could be the one... Uh, I mean, this could be the one. Which one? Don't know. Uh, what? Hey. Eh? To preface this topic, I'll tell you uh, this uh, is a past time for the wife and I. A past time. Uh, okay. Uh, we talk about it fairly regularly, uh, mostly to prepare ourselves for such an event, to test ourselves whether or not we'd be ready. Every time we discuss the end of the world, uh, we come up with ways we can be more prepared. Crikey. Oh, well, everyone's got to have a hobby. Uh, as well, whenever we bring this up to our friends, they help us to expand on the ifs and maybes we hadn't thought of. So the topic is, if we were to experience a total societal collapse, not necessarily zombies or catastrophic natural disaster, more so like Stephen King's The Stand. I love the part one. There's only one version of Stephen King's The Stand, and that's the mini series with, uh, with Gary Sinise and, uh, and what's her name? Pretty in pink. Um... Yeah, that's the only one that matters. The, the, everything else that I've seen on it has been rubbish. Uh, where a super flu wipes out just about everybody, right? And uh, and you've got to try and restore society. Okay, right, good. I'm easing down because I've got a junction coming up and I've still got more of this question to read. Uh, would you want to be a survivor and how would you manage a new way of life for yourself? Uh, the only constant in this scenario is who you choose to survive with. Uh, for our, that's uh, 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 McGillian and wife, uh, discussion is always the two of them. Uh, everyone else is a variable. Maybe even your own kids is a variable. I guess they're, they're role-playing different scenarios that could, could come up. Uh, for you, well, you do you, yourself and whoever else would you choose. It's all hypothetical. Otherwise, it could wipe, uh, whole context could be wiped out. 1% would, would, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, you're, if your answer is, no, I'd rather not survive, then the rest of this is a bit moot. Yeah, probably is. Uh, would you want to stay where you are? Would you go and explore? Uh, maybe you'd want to live somewhere you couldn't otherwise. Uh, department store, neighbour's house, parliament. Uh, let's not get carried away. We're going quite fast. Check the brakes. Check the brakes. Brakes. A little bit of that. Very small amount of this. All right, is that having an effect? Yeah, that's got it. Okay, good. Good. Are we going the right way? Yes. The junction's coming up. Breaks off. Okay. Yeah. 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 Still reading the question. Uh, uh, would you look to be a leader or would you turn down any and all requests uh, and opportunities to lead? Uh, and then there's a part two to this coming as well. I, I don't know what we're going to cover in part two, but let's cover part one. No, I've, oh, you've got a flipping independent on. There you go. Sorry, my fault. Because it feels like they should both be pointing towards the middle, whereas actually it's much safer to do it this way. It makes far more sense. Sorry, I can't fault the game for that. Uh, right, so. Captain Trips comes along and knocks out the majority of humanity. Would I want to survive? Couldn't tell you. Don't know. Uh, particularly this year. 
particularly this year, I couldn't tell you if I wanted to survive or not. Um, and again, that's an entirely different topic, and it's quite bleak. Uh, but but at the same time, it's it's quite it's it's sort of thoughtful. I've reached the point where I can uh, where I can talk about such things without you know it bothering me too too significantly. Like the Incredible Hulk, I'm sad all the time. Um, he's angry. I'm sad. Okay, it's that's that's just a thing. So yeah, no, that's a that's a different topic. Don't go down that topic. Play the play the game, man. Play the game. Not this game, the game of the topic and talking about it. Would I want to survive? Let's assume for the sake of having a conversation, yeah, sure, why not? Or whether I want to survive or not is irrelevant. I have survived the initial problems. And uh, and what do you want to do about that then? Well, you've got necessities first and foremost. Uh, and the number one necessity you're going to need to deal with is potable water. Uh, because... That ain't going to be around for very long. You're going to need to drain every water source you've got in your house. Right? Because that's come from the mains and will, for the most part, be potable. Now, assuming there is some kind of bio element to the uh, to the disaster in question. Shut the power down. We need to figure out where we're going. Oh, okay. Uh, either way, potable water. You're, you're going to need it. Uh, second off... Uh, get yourself an electric car, uh, steel if necessary, or an electric bicycle, even better than an electric car. Uh, the only advantage an electric car has is a roof. But I'd go for an electric bicycle with one of those uh, those towing wagons that you can get there, uh, and solar panels. Yeah, you want something that doesn't run out of fuel, because all of that refined fuel that we've got going on, based on the additives that are put in it, stops working after about six months. So, it's a waste of time going, oh, I'm going to get myself this mighty, mighty SUV uh, with which I shall conquer the post-apocalyptic. And you kind of go, you won't, because the fuel ain't going to be any good to you quite quickly. Uh, right, yeah, uncouple. Where are we going? A6 in. Okay. Right. Are we going to scout ahead? Yep. Yep. That's the sensible thing to do. There are times to be sensible and times not to be sensible. This is a time to be sensible. Uh, there's six out. Yeah. That's another out. Yeah. I reckon the S is possibly for siding. Could be. Out. Out. There's in. All right. Where's six? Speak to me. I need six in. There's three in. Maybe it's lane six, but up the other end. Yeah. You might be reaching there. It could just be down the other end of the track. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I look. I could look at the station map, but frankly, doing so is no fun uh, because the station map is not an easy read. Uh, and uh, and then when I fail to read it, I get called an idiot by everybody. And you know what? That's no fun for me. Uh, are you in? No, you're still out. Well, where the chuff in heck is in? Unless it is out. Nope. A6 in. That's B, for starters. <laughs> okay. All right. Read the information you got. You're going to be over here somewhere. Uh, just over here somewhere. Uh, here's A6 in. I have stumbled upon it in that way that one should. Ah, we've got to shoot through, then back up. Roger that. Okay. Back to my train. Where is it? I don't know. I left it around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so, potable water. Moreover, you're going to need a means whereby you can make more water potable relatively quickly. Because if you're thinking, oh, I shall go for natural streams and the water that I find... No. Uh, you're going to need a means of purifying it. Uh, our immune systems have been weakened by the fact that, uh, that as a species we've done very well at cleaning up uh, that which we consume so that we'd not... We're not getting quite as many waterborne parasites as we used to once upon a time. Uh, and therefore, we're not quite as good at dealing with waterborne parasites these days. So you're going to want a means of purifying it. And while boiling it will do some good, boiling it also strips it of any kind of beneficial stuff other than hydration. Which is okay. I distilled water. It's not great for you, but... It, it at least keeps you alive. And I think that's the, that's the aim of the game here. So that's number one, is that's what you're going to need immediately is potable water. The first couple of days, 
it, uh, the water will run out. Forget about having pallet loads of bottled water, sure, but you can't carry it with you. Uh, and unless you've decided that the gigantic SUV approach is the one for you, stupid idea, it will get you through the first couple of weeks. The other thing you've got to worry about though, and actually why the SUV idea isn't a stupid one, is that the first couple of weeks are the ones where you're most likely to get bumped off uh, by other people as they run out of stuff. The, uh, the, the, the decay of society is going to be such that uh, people will turn feral fast. Uh, it's been estimated that uh, it's three meals. There are three meals between society continuing as is and the total breakdown of Western civilization. I don't disagree necessarily. I've seen people panic buying and, uh, and it's madness. Uh, not to the extent of pushing and shoving people out of the way, but just doing a supermarket sweep. Um, I was in, uh, I was in a, a, a supermarket right uh, two weeks before, maybe one week before lockdown uh, for, for COVID. Uh, and uh, I noticed that the shelves, they were running out of stuff all over the place. And, uh, and I was just doing our regular kind of weekly shop. Uh, and so, uh, so I phoned up herself and I said, well, yeah, I, I, I texted herself and I said, like, people are cleaning this place out. And this is a big, you know, proper mega store size supermarket. I go, people are cleaning this place out. And I, I did a follow up text of, I'm getting involved. Uh, because uh, if, uh, if there is going to be a, a, you know, a finite opportunity to acquire stuff, I'm not going to miss it. And that's how panic buying occurs. Um, it's the same as a run on a bank, right? Uh, so when, when there's a run on a bank, it's where all the customers try and withdraw their money from the bank because they fear the bank is going to go bust and they don't want to lose their money. And all there needs to be is the rumour that the bank is not going to be able to pay out everyone their money. And everyone who's got money in there goes to that bank to draw out the money, thereby causing there to be a run on the bank. Humans, we are very, very scared creatures. Very scared creatures, which is why mass media has figured out that the best way to uh, to get the clicks and the views and the uh, interactions and all of that kind of stuff is to prey on people's fears. Uh, and for different groups, it's different things. Again, I've swerved off the topic. But, humans, we're rubbish. We're just... We're... It's a miracle we're still here, uh, because uh, have we cleared that junction? Looks pretty close. Let's bounce up here and have a quick look. Uh, uh, yeah, so in the in the early days, the big SUV plant might not be a terrible one, except for the fact that because fighting between humans will have broken out, the surviving humans, because it will have broken out uh, over the scraps that remain, uh, there'll be, you know, supermarkets will have open warfare going on. Uh, they will, any remaining supermarkets will be fortresses. Same goes for hardware stores. Uh, I imagine enough people have heard me talking about garden centres now that garden centres will be a warfare zone as well. Um, garden centres, what you want? Yep. Garden centre, you know why? They've got seeds for food and the material to grow it in. Not to mention that they've pretty much all got a ruddy farm shop in them these days, so you get plenty of uh, get plenty of, plenty of farm type stuff as well, and they have tools and fencing, and uh, and quite a few of them will have fish ponds and the like in there as well. So you've got you've got some you've got ready food sources from the off. That's all the thing because uh, you've got to be thinking past the first couple of weeks. You've got to be thinking past the point at which all of that stuff you could loot is in any way valuable at all. Uh, because it just isn't. Uh, now, I mean, uh, it, it also varies depending on which continent you're on and which country you're in as to as far as the, uh, the availability of things that you might find desirable. Firearms, for example. In the US, they're all over the flaming place. So, uh, so firstly, good luck surviving that. Uh, but secondly, in the event that uh, uh, 
that you're kicking around, you're not going to struggle to have firearms, which will be ideal for hunting and killing all of the feral creatures that come out. Yeah, well done you. Congratulations. Pretty sure six was his first one here. Um, yeah, do you want to take control of the situation, giving you the wrong end of the train? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, protecting yourself from humans is, is operation number one. And then after things settle down a little bit, you're going to want things to trade with other humans because they'll stop. People will stop fighting over things, uh, and they will start looking for a means whereby they can. Oh look, we've got a cow, and therefore we can supply fresh milk. They go, like, ah, good. Well, I took over a garden centre and I've got turnips. So uh, turnips for milk, and you'd be surprised the number of people who will go flipping get in turnip. That will make a change. I've been eating nothing but oats. Uh, so yeah, so potable water, number one. Transportation so you can get away from where you are, number two. A bicycle is a good way to go. The only reason not to go with a, a regular bicycle is, uh, is firstly, it's going to use up that much more fuel, which is food, which is going to be in short supply fast. Fortifying somewhere? Yeah, maybe, but you're going to need land on which you can grow. Uh, because after the first few months, uh, food, forget about it. Uh, yeah. And that means you're going to need to be able to fortify the location. Sorry, I'm flying. Uh, you're going to need to fortify the location you're in as well. So you're going to want something with fortification and the ability to grow food. Good luck. Yeah. Now, would I want to be the leader of a group of survivors? No. Well, no. Well, no, I wouldn't want to be. I think I'd, I'd probably end up being because I'm so flipping loud. I'd either be, I'd end up being appointed or, uh, uh, or I'd be asked to leave. Um, or I'd be given, you know, I'd, I'd go, look, just give me something to look after and I'll get out of your hair. Um, but I will have an opinion on absolutely everything. You know, I'm going to be a thorn in your flip inside because I've got just enough common sense to see the hole in stupid plans when they come up. And also, you're going to be obsessed with setting up some kind of ruddy democracy, which is no way to get things done. You have a debate, one person makes the call. That's the way that you get through this stuff. You've actually pulled off a pretty good bit of parking here, son. Cheers. I know. Yeah, I know. It happens. Now, do you want me to park perfectly under these hatches? No, they're deployers. They're not gatherers. Now, you could ease it forward a little bit further, but I think you've probably done enough. Okay. Yeah, you're in the siding. You're, you're, you're where you're supposed to be. Okay, well, let's detach the train. Yeah, give it some of that. Give it some of this. Whoop. Yeah. Give it a bit of that. Do a bit of this. Uh, unhooksy. There you go. Thank you for your service. And get out of here. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't think it would be my choice, particularly. I think that I, I think I have the kind of personality that occasionally people follow, um, uh, but in terms of do I have aspirations in terms of leadership, I think I just I think I just drift into it. Um, and what I do know is that though, what I have is uh, is pub quiz voodoo, uh, and I've spoken about this before as well, which is and this is something that herself pointed out is she goes like you are a nightmare on a pub quiz team because you know loads of stuff but you also think you know loads of stuff where you're wrong um but you deliver them both with equal fervor and therefore it's impossible to say whether what you're offering up is something where you have concrete knowledge or something where it is uh, a plausible sounding i reckon there you go money Yes, bruv. Chuck it. How long did that take? 91 minutes. Cool. I'd have, got, I'd have got a bonus if I'd done it in 31. Yeah. Shove your bonus where the sun don't shine. Get me wallet, which was on four. Oh, it still is. Get the money. Ah, oh, yeah. 23 Gs. Hey. An actual profitable run. Let's talk fees. Put your wallet away. Fees. 14 thousands. Um. I only need to pay 7,600. What the heck have I done that's worth 14? I haven't wrecked anything in ages. 
right print it right what do i do with this don't know don't know this was never fully explained to me uh no damage to the wheels 900 quid i'll do me a favor damage to the engine i need to be able to buy a train yeah that's what this game needs it needs me to be able to buy a train so that i need never uh, i need never be charged for anything ever again all right yep confirm it uh do you have manual service i don't know you could save money on this fee by servicing the train manually uh, okay uh, okay yeah all right insert wallet to pay zero i don't want to pay seven grand that was a that was everything i just made from that trip what a total rip off no clear off no i'm not paying it no you can stuff yourself What's that? That's 7,600 quid. Put it back in the wallet. There you go. Yeah. No, I'm not doing all this for flipping charity. No, just not. And also, every every time I get stuck down in fees in this thing, everyone in the comments goes, oh, it's incredibly obvious that it uses this and that and the other and what have you. I kind of go, if it was incredibly obvious, it would fox me far less. All right. Stupid train. I'll be cool failure, everybody. So that was uh, that was survival part one. I imagine there's a part two somewhere, and I'll do that in probably a different game. Possibly, who knows? I couldn't tell you. McGilly, thank you for the question. It was an interesting one, and I managed to uh, I managed to talk about it with barely taking a breath, which is always a delight and a bonus to all of us. Uh, successful mission, but it cost me more in running costs than the mission actually paid off, which is great. And that's why, after playing this game for about 15 hours, I'm still stuck on this silly little shanter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll catch up with you very soon. If you want one of these for yourself uh wizio.com slash kernel underscore failure uh you pick the game from a list you pick the topic from your head i then answer from both now ah, the end catch you next time cheerio